At a press conference held at NASA Ames Research Center, the Kepler team announced the discovery of its first confirmed planet in the habitable zone or the region around a star where liquid water could exist on a planet's surface. Named Kepler 22b, the planet is about 2.4 times the radius of the Earth and orbits a sun-like star about 600 light years away between the constellations of Cygnus and Lyra. Well, certainly the thing that's most exciting to me is the fact that we have finally, after looking at all these candidates, spending all this effort, that we could confirm a planet in a habitable zone that's nearly Earth's size. So we're moving toward the goal of the mission. Are Earth frequent or are they rare? And this is a major step in that direction. Scientists don't know yet if Kepler 22b has a predominantly rocky, gaseous, or liquid composition, but its discovery is a step closer to finding Earth-like planets. The team has also discovered more than 1,000 new planet candidates, nearly doubling its previously known count. The Kepler team announced today 1,094 new planet candidates, bringing the total roster up to 2,326. Of those, 207 are Earth size, and we now have 48 that are in the habitable zone, uh, 10 of which are smaller than two Earth radii. So these are planets that could potentially be rocky. So it's exci an exciting milestone because we are really honing in on, on truly Earth-sized habitable planets. The announcement helped to kick off the beginning of the first ever Kepler Science Conference. Held at NASA Ames, the meeting provided an opportunity for a large and diverse group of scientists to convene and review insights they've discovered from the Kepler data. Just days earlier, the Kepler mission celebrated 1,000 days of conducting science operations in space. To honor the occasion, scientists and staff members held a reception featuring a cake cutting and stories about the last two and a half years of data collection. Famed astrophysicist and science communicator Neil deGrasse Tyson also came to the event to help the team celebrate the milestone. It's great to see the energy and enthusiasm of the workforce for Kepler matching the magnitude of the science that's coming out from the telescope itself. The public hardly ever sees the workforce behind a mission. They just see the results and they know there's a telescope out there, but they're hardworking people, you know, the engineers and scientists and managers. And, and so it's great to see everybody here together celebrating. Kepler is NASA's three and a half year mission to search for Earth-sized, potentially habitable planets in our galaxy.